a quick tip on how to use Google Drawings to make drag and drop text boxes. So as I reviewed in one of my recent videos, it is difficult for students to sometimes drag and drop text boxes because if they click on the words themselves, it becomes editable and then it's frustrating to try to drag and drop. So instead of teaching them to click on the white space or the color space, you can do one quick step as the teacher to make everybody's life easier on the student end. And that is using Google Drawing. So to find Google Drawing inside your Google Drive, you're going to the plus new, and then you probably have to click more, and then it should pop right up a Google Drawing. This is what it looks like. It has basic functionality. Um, you're going to insert a text box and then you can format that the same way you would format anything else. I like to add a um, border to it and then I use the alignment tool to center the word and then center it in the text box and that's a trick I don't think everybody knows about. Um, make that a little bit thicker and then I'm going to use this drag corner to really tighten up the frame around the um, text box because this is going to become white space and so you can get as close as you want to so that there's not a ton of extra space around this when it becomes an image. And now you are going to go to File, Download. If you download it as a ping, then it will keep that transparent background for you. If you download it as a JPEG, then it will create a white background for you. So that's totally your preference, um, depending on what you're using that for. If it's an inside a Bitmoji classroom, you definitely want the ping. Um, so I'm going to do a JPEG because I just want a simple white background here. And if you're using a PC like me, um, it will show up right here or it will go to your downloads. Now you're going to go back to your slide, and if you're using Google Slides, you can just drag that right there. Otherwise, you can go to Insert Image, oops, Insert Image, Upload from Computer, and find it in your downloads. Um, now I can resize this so that it is the size that I want, and when I click on the words, it does not become editable like a regular text box. You see, once you get used to that, it only takes a few seconds to create it as an image, but it's a lot easier for your students. One thing that I do is create a bunch of word cards at once, and I put them on slides, so then I can just copy and paste them later, and I don't have to replicate that work. Um, I hope that's helpful when you're making word cards for online work. This would be great for word sorts, um, drag and drop uh, sentence completion, um, let me know other ideas you have for using this functionality to create interactive slides for your students. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and join me on Facebook at Jane Natalie Coaching.